An attack is caught on camera in the parking lot of Gary City Hall. The sheriff now pursuing charges against the wife of the police chief. The sheriff says there's a history of improper behavior involving the police chief, and he says the chief should step down. News 9's Chris Yu joins us live right here in studio to show us what the camera caught. Yeah, guys, the Blaine County Sheriff Travis Doherty says Police Chief Cecil Harrell has been placed on a 30-day leave for allegedly having an affair with a city employee that resulted in Harrell's wife attacking that woman, all being caught on camera. Now, that's all according to the sheriff, and it prompted an investigation. It started with a hard shove, then some words, and a flurry of punches. This confrontation happened outside the Gary City Hall on February 16th. Blaine County Sheriff Travis Doherty says the wife of Gary Police Chief Cecil Harrell is the attacker. The victim is a city employee who Harrell was allegedly having an affair with. She was very open about it, said that um, she had been um, having a relationship with the police chief for approximately three and a half years. And uh, apparently the suspect got a hold of his work phone and found some incriminating photographs. You can see in the video the attacker kicking the victim several times. The assault lasted about 50 seconds. When the victim got up, the attacker threw something at her before they both walked into the building. Doherty says his office is also looking into the possibility that the suspect attacked her husband as well. The sheriff says Harold claimed his facial injuries were due to dropping a footlocker, but... It was not consistent with, uh, with the injuries sustained. For now, the sheriff's office is recommending two charges against the suspect, assault and battery and destruction of evidence for allegedly destroying Harold's city-issued phone. In the meantime, Doherty says the city of Gary placed Harrell on a 30-day leave. Doherty says Harrell should resign or be fired. This is not the first time that something like this has happened. There are, um, there's information that we're looking into that there is also other women involved. And uh, I do know that OSBI has done an investigation previously um, on this type of behavior. And, and it has been submitted, and I just think enough is enough. I called to Gary City Hall, but was told no comment. I also reached out to the police chief and his wife on Facebook, but have not heard back. The sheriff says his office is now waiting for the district attorney's office to, to decide whether to accept the recommended charges against the police chief's wife. Live in the studio, Chris Hugh, Oklahoma's own News 9.